Berggren, you know, let's talk about the little the milestone there for you. Your hundredth point as a Griffin, you know, seventh fastest guy to do in franchise history. What does that mean to you? Uh, I don't know. I haven't uh, think about too, that too much, but it's fun to score, and hopefully, I have a couple more in me. Yeah, you said you got lucky on the goal on Wednesday night. How about the first goal here tonight, where you had that nice shot? Yeah, I thought it was top shelf, but then I saw the replay, and it was on, on the ice. So. Maybe not the prettiest goal that I have done in my career, but I'll take it. Is that kind of you're finding that sweet spot there on the right side of the slot like that? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try to get puck at net, and uh, good things will happen. Now you have this team, obviously. Much better start this game, too. Obviously, kind of evened out, and obviously the scoring came a little bit later, but it seemed like a much better start compared to the last three games. Yeah, I agree. I think we were a lot better than uh, last game, and... Uh, we just keep go going like that. Uh, we'll be a hard team to beat. And I get Belleville again tomorrow night here, and obviously want to keep this thing going because right now the guys are trying to compete in a playoff spot. Seems like the team's got a lot of confidence, though. Yeah, when you win games, it's the confidence gets higher. So just try to keep this train going. Jonathan, you guys have won. I think what is it, uh, nine and twelve now, which is great for the Griffins. How do you balance that, and then your thought of trying to get into the Red Wings squad by the end of the season, if that's something on your mind? Uh, I must try to win games here. Carter, big win for the team here tonight. Reels off four in a row here. I mean, how is the, it seems like the confidence in this room is really building as this, as this run of great games goes on. Yeah, it's been a really fun time too, and having Huso is kind of nice to have him in that. But uh, we've just been a really good team so far, and I feel like having that momentum in the second half has been pretty huge for us, and we look forward to keep it going. A much better start, it seemed like, for this game. Obviously, you guys didn't score till the third period, but it seemed a lot more jump out of the step here. Is that something kind of Watson kind of brought up over the last couple of Yeah, days? absolutely. The last three games where he came back, it's kind of hard when you're kind of down and out in a way. But to have those wins were kind of huge for our momentum. And just to build on that and come out in the first period, guns blazing is kind of the message in a way. And that's kind of what we did tonight, and it worked. You obviously got on the score sheet as well, got your 11th goal of the season here. Obviously, maybe not the, the prettiest goal in the world, but hey, they don't ask Cal yet. Yeah, so never. Yeah, I'll take it, but just happy we got the team on. First, Coach, it uh, seems like a much better jump in this game compared to the single first three games. How do you see it? Yeah, I thought we came out of the gates good. Our compete level was there. The work ethic was there. Uh, we knew Belleville is a hardworking team, and that's what they do. They battle, and we needed to mash that and exceed it just to, just to make sure uh, that we could play a full 60. So our message was get off to a good start, and let's carry that right through the entire game. The last few games, the team has not scored in the first period. Does that really affect you at all, or do you kind of see how the way the team pushed the play through this first period? We were scoring a lot in the third, <laughs> and the results were there. No, I mean, yeah, we'd love to play with leads. I mean, teams, you, you, get, you gain that confidence when you build a lead, but... Um, I told you know we tell our guys all the time you've got to get comfortable in close games, uh, especially the division we play in. I know Belleville is not in our division, but typically our division has close games. You got to get comfortable with it. So whether it's we're down one, we're up one, it's a it's a tie game. We just have to make sure we stick with it. How about Berger and getting two more tonight? Obviously, had another one on Wednesday here. It seems like he's hitting his stride right at the right time for the puck. Obviously. Yeah, I mean he's dangerous with the puck. He's you know obviously on that flank on the power play. He knows where to shoot. He can score. Um, got the empty netter again here tonight, but just I think with Berge, he's you know when he's dialed in and, and he's hitting the net with his shots, like I said, he's he's lethal with it. How about just the fact of the matter is the team is playing right now a good team against Belleville. What do you expect from them tomorrow night? Maybe some adjustments the team has to make. Well, I think uh, I, I again it's it's going to be our compete, our battle. I think at times we didn't break the puck out well enough, so we'll take a look at that. Um, but overall, I think our structure was there tonight, uh, which allowed us to, to have the result we did. Um, I liked our game from start to finish for the most part. Like I said, special teams came through with a big five on three goal. Um, PK was good. So I, I just think overall, we've got to stick with what we're doing and, and be consistent. Coach, with the uh, team really successful lately, how do you balance their focus with the fact that an ideal goaltender is coming in for a little bit of conditioning? Since? Yeah, I mean, it's just it's making sure it's one one game at a time, no matter who's in the lineup. Um, obviously, Billy played extremely well here tonight for us, and um, you know, we saw the shots that uh, he needed to see. And, and uh, what I liked about our guys played hard in front of him too, because uh, sometimes that's not easy. Uh, but he made it look easy tonight for us, which is which is nice. In terms of players who maybe uh, are more ready to make the jump to the IHL, how do you continuously challenge them to improve their game while not losing focus of the AHL challenge in front of them? Well, it's just them understanding what they need to do to get better, and then just mentally, it's it's making sure that they understand that they're here in Grand Rapids. They play hard for Grand Rapids, and they're, they'll be ready when they get that opportunity. 
it's it's more mental than his physical right now but still continue to understand what those you know what they still need to work on to improve to, to make that jump uh, along the last uh, home series you come out not where you want to be uh, you rattle off two wins at home now how's that feel for you how's that feel for the guys well it's good and we talked about at the start of the week uh, 12 or next 15 games are here and we want to make sure that we take care of home ice uh, we've done that so far this week and we're looking forward to tomorrow night. Well, Billy, you know, first of all, how are you kind of feeling after your first game back in over a month? Uh, it was nice. It was nice to get a win. Um, had a little butterflies on the stomach before the game, you know. I haven't played for five weeks, so. Uh, but it was easy to come in here, good group of guys, and I uh, knew a couple before and from training camp as well. So uh, had a good practice yesterday, and, uh, you know, it was easy, easy to come in, like I said, and uh, I think we played overall good game, and they made my night pretty easy out there. And it took you a little bit to get in the action, too. Six minutes without a shot on goal. Did that kind of make it a little bit tough for you, or did you like the kind of easing into the game? Uh, sometimes, yeah, I feel like I, I felt today, um, you know, I just I was just, just focusing for the first first shot and uh, make that save. So I, I didn't think too much out there, and uh, just trying to make this, you know, stop the puck. And uh, But usually you would like to get a couple right away, And uh, but tonight it, it was... Like you said, six minutes, and uh, but I think we overall like the first first period was pretty good over from us, and uh, they didn't get a inside on the box there. What was the hardest part coming back from this particular injury? Maybe one you've had in the past. Well, it was you know five weeks. It's a uh, kind of a long long time, you know, uh, for a goalie being out from the game action, and uh, you know the last I would say the last couple of weeks was kind of frustrated just. It was super close to be, you know, healthy, and uh, then uh, still couldn't play. But uh, you know, it, I think it's a good, good thing to take the time uh, and uh, get fully, fully healthy, and uh, hopefully get rolling right now. Did you like the? How did you think you, you played the puck tonight? Obviously, got aggressive a couple of times coming way out. Yeah, I mean, it was it was all right. I would say, uh, you know, new new demands, and uh, I. I think the communication out, out there was good. Uh, I think just my couple. You know, um, lazy, lazy plays out there, but uh, you know, overall it was good. Obviously, you know, this is leading back to Detroit here, and you guys have been pretty much before you got hurt had three of you guys lying, you and Reimer. How do you like having the trio up all with one team at the same time? Yeah, you know, especially now I, I've been been out for five weeks, so it's nice to have a you know two goalies out there. But uh, you know, it's just uh, you, you got to find a way in the practice to get what you need, and uh, it's not always easy. But uh, it's just you know. Need to grind sometimes, and uh, whoever wins hockey games, I would, I would say, usually plays. So uh, just gotta win games and uh, try to enjoy it. What message did the uh, Red Wings coaching staff or uh, management give you coming down here in terms of what to focus on? They pretty much just said go out there for two days and uh, just have fun and try to you know get this game day game day routine back and all that. So nothing nothing crazy. It was just uh, go have fun and uh, play a game. And seeing Detroit. Their December didn't go so great, but January has started fantastic for them, and they're still in the playoff race. Are you thinking about that, trying to get back to the mix and uh, support the team? Yeah, no, I think we uh, have played better, and uh, Alex and Ned have been out outstanding as well. So uh, just, you know, good cold ending gives the boost for the guys there. And, uh, you know, it's just when I get a chance to play next time there, I just got to give a, give a chance for the team to win a game. And, uh, you know, I feel like my the first half of the year wasn't, good enough and uh, I still got to be better and I think this five weeks uh, you know I've been working my game a little bit now especially the last couple of weeks so just got to go out there and uh, you know it's still uh, same same game hockey and uh, just try to stop the puck. Get enough rest for mommy baby at home? Yeah I mean I told my wife to don't get used to it because I was home too much <laughs> so <laughs> hopefully I get to get to be with the team more now. Awesome thank you. What's a game like this uh, coming back from five weeks do for your confidence? Uh, you know, it was like I said. I think the win is the main main thing, and um, you know, it was fun fun out there tonight. And um, I think it's going to be a good little boost going forward.